What's up guys? Mystic Stream here and welcome back to Sally Base. We're going to pick up where we left off last week and I am going to change the subject here. Because he knows who did it. It was Charlie. So what's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns the place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave this room. Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. That's an interesting bit of trivia. Guess we'll have to try Mr. Addison's famous tea. Oh, painting. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. That's the funeral up there. And the dog who sunk into the ground behind the under the tree. That's where that came from in the dream. Hmm. All right. Let's go to the living room. And uh, I doubt anything's changed down here. So let's go ahead. And Charlie, who's the guy with the dolls? All right, Mr. Addison. Hello, yeah, sorry, the new resident. I don't remember how I did your voice, man. New resident, Addison Apartments, 402. Have my IV of service. Addison T, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. He passes it through the mail slot. Oh my god, what? <laughs> there you are, sir. Please enjoy. And now I have tea. Oh, I gotta go talk to Larry in the basement again. That's apparently my current goal. Let's go back and see Larry. Unless I was supposed to get a new goal. I got the tea. All right, Larry, in your room again. Okay, so nothing else. Cool. Let's go back. All right, so I got Mr. Addison's tea. What can I do with Mr. Addison's tea? Hmm. The adults seem to love it. Let's give it to that cop one more. Let's see if they'll take it. Hello. Okay, I got nothing for him. Okay. Maybe Lisa over here would like some tea. Hey Lisa. Hey Sal, what's up? I met Larry. Oh wonderful. I'm glad you kids got to meet. Me too. It's good to have a friend again. Larry's a nice guy. I knew you two would get along. Do you need any help? Are you fucking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? <laughs> yes, I am. Well, I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind just wanders and I lose track of time. That's cool. I'm the same way. I can tell you're a creative type, like my Larry. I'm glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about it. What do you worry about? Oh, I shouldn't be bothering you with this stuff. Let's keep things positive. Hey, Lisa. Peace out. Oh, 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 darn it. Hmm. Uh, Addison's tea has a funny smell to it. Definitely not drinking this stuff. Okay. So I can't choose it from the menu. Oh gosh, who else can I give Mr. Addison's tea to? I tried to give it to the cop. Let's go to Mr. Tiger. Ah. Hey, Detective. Hello, Sal. Uh, should I tell him I think who I know who did it? It's there, it's an option. I've been talking with that Larry boy. 
I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh, look, I appreciate you kids trying to help. I do. But unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. Uh, so long. All right, so I'm going to go give this tea to Charlie, and then maybe I'll be able to look around his apartment for some clues. So did he live on? Did he live on three? No, that's where she's mom. I think Charlie lived on two. Think. Oh, it's open. Okay, it's not that one. Ah, all right. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. You live here alone? Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I can ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. So, yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. I was talking about that collection. Yeah. Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Thank you, I'll be right back. Ooh. Is that Addison T. I smell? Yes, it is. You want some? Yeah, I just got some from... Oh, I just love Addison T. Give it here. So relaxing, so What is in that stuff? Well, yeah, I thought maybe it was booze, but wow. He's passed out. Ah, must have dosed off a certain course over there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, Sal. I was starting to like you. Wait and dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. Say, if you get any more Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for today. I just got some kind of drug I'm gonna go down for some more Addison tea. Maybe figure out how to make it stronger. Oh, young, where is it? Uh, Addison tea, please, thank you. Yep, coming right up. Come on, give me the tea. There you are, please enjoy. Thank you. I'm gonna go <laughs> overfeed Charlie some Addison tea so I can super around his ponies. I got some more to you from Addison. Wonderful. Ah, uh, so relaxed. All right, he's out. Yeah. Damn. Again, dude. Boy, I can look at him. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? <laughs> Those eyes have seen so much. My god, child, have you never seen my glitter ponies, Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. Oh my god, he's a brony. Not every brony is like that. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Uh-huh. He <laughs> zooms in with his eyes. Alright, let me see if I can get some more of them at 60. Or, I don't know, see if I can find this Lender Pony show? He, he, he's giving me three cuts already, he hasn't got me off. Alright, so... Let's talk to Larry again. See if he has any insight. What? Whoops, wrong way. On Charlie's. Oh, wait. Radio. Talk. Okay, talk. Oh, darn it. What is this thing? 
that's a, it's a police scanner. I can listen in on a local cop chat. How did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 408. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Like glitter ponies? Pretty quick to sign me in for the, up for the break-in, right? Well, I gotta make the call down here and uh, I'll just mess up with you. I'm totally up for this. And what in the peak in that room anyways, right? Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call it a bank robbery hostage situation. That should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with arm bank, armed robbery at like a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there, call. Oh, alright. The game is a foot. Alright, I'm four. Let's get going there and let's get this action started. Uh, my 402, yep. And my room. Shit. Okay, I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into 403 now. Yep, will do. Let's see if we can find a glitter bunny. Sneak in. Oh, that is bloody. Is it? There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important. It just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Oh, ponies. There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small, small clearing in the blood. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Yes, indeed. I knew it was going to be that. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. You can't live in a building with a murderer. No. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait. Why do I have to do it? I, I snuck in a 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks? Fucking bad. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this bag. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Haha, <laughs> nah. I just watch too much TV. Right. You're the one with the criminal. With the, yeah, the criminal record. Alright. Up to Charlie's place. I have the tea, Mr. Addison. Hey, I got more tea for Addison. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, you got. Wonder which one's super rare. Set of glitter ponies. Great accomplishment to have. Definitely won't do anything. It's a glitter pony. There we are with that stare again. He's seen war for those ponies. Well, for one of them. Damn. 
dang that where how am I gonna figure out who's the which one's the rare one? Maybe I can TV. Hey, come downstairs and talk when you get a chance. Alright. Okay. Sound like face, my man. Good luck. Alright. I stop now to see if I can get some more cheese on this round. Four cups. How many cups did Charlie drink to get cut off? Seriously. Maybe it's just that he's had so much that sleeping, whatever, doesn't work for him anymore. Alright, what's up? I gave Charlie some medicine seed. Great idea, I bet that put him right to sleep. I did, but only for a minute. Yes! <gasps> the sleeping pills on the toilet in my apartment! Alright. So is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Chuck put you up to this. No, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chuck? He's the big kid on three. Usually can't miss him. Anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw him with my own eyes, you know? I guess so. Alright. I know how to make it stronger. I'm going to go and put the daddy's sleeping pills into, <laughs> into the tea and then give it to him. Oh, man. We're out of time for this episode. That'll be it for this episode for Sally's Face. If you want to see more, come back next week. I'll have another video for you. In the meantime, if you want to see more, take a look around. I got tons of videos. I'll see you next time. Peace.